Well, welcome back to North Cambridgeshire. And what I can exclusively reveal is a specially swept farmyard floor for us here. So we're very grateful for that. We're joined now by the award-winning farmer, uh, Judith Jacobs, and the free market economist and pro-Brexiteer, Catherine McBride. Um, Catherine, let me ask you, I mean, there is real concern. A million people signed this signature. Huge consternation in these islands about being flooded with these cheap imports, hormone beef, chlorinated chicken. Right to be concerned, aren't we? Well, no, actually. Unfortunately, less than 2% of the chickens in this country are organic. Less than 3% of the beef is organic. Um, we have the most fantastic landscape. But, and we but have it's not full fantastic... of hormones and chlorine. Well, yeah, but it's, it is intensively farmed. We are not going to import something we aren't already eating. Unfortunately, not only does the UK have intensive farming, i.e. big, big sheds with a million chickens that have never gone outside, but uh, so does the EU, and we import a lot of our food from the EU, the, the food that we don't make ourselves. Uh, we don't import as much as many people make out, but we are certainly um, using intensive farming methods. Right, we are super intensive, that's an, un an unarguable point. And conditions of animal husbandry, certainly not on this farm, but on some are appalling. Just recently, you'll have seen the, the, the pictures secretly filmed of one of the major chicken suppliers to Tesco, for instance. Animals kept in appalling conditions. We're not one to preach to the Americans, are we? No. Um, most of British agriculture is, um, um, is assured by the Red Tractor, which is high welfare, um, good for the environment, traceable, free range. A lot of our beef is free range in this country, as opposed to America. Um, the chicken industry is a completely different industry to the beef industry and the lamb industry, of which I'm heavily involved in. We are very proud to be farmers in this country, and. Um, in the light of all the debates going on, and we're very happy that the NFU are backing us um, to push forward all our very high standards that the rest of the world, are, most of the rest of the world, cannot meet our very high welfare standards. So we need to shut them out? Um, I until don't they improve their standards? Is yes, that I think they do need to be shut out completely until they can meet our very high standards. Right, Catherine? Actually, I disagree. Um, not uh, shutting out but basically a lot of the world has exceptionally high standards but they have a lower currency they have a lower wages cheaper farmland they have a lot of things that enable them to produce the same quality food as um, is produced in the UK but for less money uh, what people seem to forget is that every country has a variety of products not everything is made to the mass uh, industrialization in the UK and it's not everything in other countries isn't either. OK, quick question yeah. for both of you, for, for, for you who's watching this. Can we, Judith Jacobs, produce cheap food in huge quantities that the supermarkets and the public demand humanely? Is it possible? Yes. Straightforwardly, it Absolutely. can be done. Yes, And still be, be that cheap? Absolutely, yes. Catherine, you buy that? Actually, I would too. I think that we've been sort of conned by the supermarkets who like to sell a very limited um, number of cuts and then they like to, to, off, to sell the, the off-cuts um, to other countries and export them when, in fact, if people were a bit more imaginative in what they were cooking and how they were cooking it, um, there's a lot of, be of the beast that we are not using at the moment, which our, right. our mothers and grandmothers used to use. So we need some firepower, perhaps you'd agree on this one. We need some firepower turned on the big supermarkets. We actually, I, I feel we actually need to educate yes. um, both children, starting at an early age, to educate children basically where the food comes from. We have completely lost the link in how food is produced, why it's produced like it is, and how it's sold and how it's marketed. Most, most consumers are misled by the labelling on all, right. all the, the packaging in supermarkets. OK, we have 30 seconds left. Quick one for both of you, and I want maybe some agreement yeah. on this one too. Should we eat less meat? Basically, that's part of the solution, Catherine, isn't it? Well, that, if you all want to eat organic meat or free-range meat, grass-fed is very important, especially for cattle and, um, and sheep in this country, then, yes, you probably have to eat smaller portions of meat. Right, to get um, your vote as well? Eat less, but better quality, and waste less. Waste less. Indeed, waste is huge. We could do another programme all about okay. that. Yes. Thank you both so much.